Yeah, boxing and uh, Sheffield's world welterweight champion Kel Brook is targeting the big names of the division once he defeats Argentinian Diego Chavez in his home city next month. The unbeaten 29-year-old was at Sheffield City Hall today with the region's other world champion, Doncaster's Jamie McDonnell, who's fresh from defending his bantamweight crown in Texas on Sunday. He's now planning on moving up a weight in search of fresh challenges and big paydays. I said to Dave, I said, if you get the right fight and the right money at featherweight, I'll, I'll move up to featherweight. Uh, it's not a problem. You know, I'm big, I'm big for the weight as long as I go back putting the right muscle on. I'll move up to super bantam. You know, I can move up to, to modern and, uh, you know, mix it with your, your Quigs, your Framptons and your Donniers and, and all them, you know what I mean? I want the top boys. You know, I want the money fights. I want the excitement fights. I want, I want the big names. You know, that's what, that's what I want. It's what I deserve. You know, I've been at this game 20 years and I'm world champion. I want the big fights. He wants the top boys. Yorkshire are top boys. Oh, very nice to see what you did there. <laughs> we Thanks like that, Chris. Much, Chris. We like it very much. Boxing now and two South Yorkshire kings of the ring were in Sheffield today. Jamie McDonnell from Doncaster retained his WBA bantamweight title with a win over Tomoki Kameda in Texas this weekend. He joined IBF welterweight champion Kel Brook, who is looking forward to his next fight against the Argentinian Diego Chavez at Sheffield Arena in October. For ten years into being a pro boxer, uh, and it's finally coming. Do you know what I mean? So, um, as long as I keep winning, which I think I will, um, as long as the motivation's there, uh, and that's there, you know what I mean? Like I say, it's all about money, and the money's there. So, um, I think there's a couple of years left. There's a lot of pressure on me in, in, in this fight, but like I've always said, I would perform better under pressure. I'm looking to make a statement. I'm looking to to do what you know the, the other fighters that I haven't done and, and stopping. Before, before 10 rounds. Um, you know, I'm going to have my hands full. We're training hard.